Welcome all you YouTubers out there and you booktubers. Welcome. Welcome to my subscribers. Where am I going here? Welcome to my subscribers and to those who are going to subscribe today. Thank you very much. Thank you for hitting the thumbs up button, which helps my channel. And thank you for leaving comments before you leave today. Because all of that is wonderful stuff. And I enjoy it. And I enjoy having you all take time out of your busy day to spend it with me and my kids. Me and my pups. There's Toby. He's looking out the window. Toffee's down here. Looking at her paws. Trappist is down there wondering what happened to his real poor thing's got cataracts now. And he can't see so good. He walks into things. It would be funny if it wasn't sad. And Tardis is over there curled up on her blanket and hey everybody. Oh, where's Toffee? Where's Toffee? Where's Toffee? There you are, man. Come up. Come up and say hi. Oh. <gasps> Toffee the princess who's going to get a haircut next week. <laughs> yes, Tardis, you're going to get a haircut too next week. You're all going to be beautiful. All going to the beauty parlor. Today, see, last time we got together, I talked about 13 chunkers that I want to reread. Today, we're doing 13 chunkers I haven't read yet, but I want to read. They're on my TBR. And when I was putting this together, I just I made the list of books first, and then I went to look up the page numbers and realized I had to replace four of them because four of them weren't chunkers like I thought they were. They were under 600 pages. And my my criteria for a chunker I've set at 600 pages. So, I found four more that I wanted to read. And they're all now over 600 pages. So, kicking off the list is a book that is 1,038 pages long and it's called Aztec by Gary Jennings. I've wanted to read this for years. And I found out that it is now a series. <laughs> like, I don't know, there's like five books in the series. And um, I think it was about time to, to read it. And Aztec, um, to my knowledge, has to do with the Aztec Indians and the arrival of the Spaniards and what happens through all that. And uh, it takes 1,038 pages to tell that story. I've heard it's a great story, the way it's told. Uh, we'll see. I can't tell if that's my hair or if it's Toby. I guess it's Toby. Okay, so Aztec. Then we've got, at 988 pages, Pandora's Star. A sci-fi, sci what do they call it? Space opera. Sci-fi novel that um, just takes you all over the place. Um... I don't know a lot about the plot. I know it has something to do with uh, a, a, an evil race of aliens that gets access to our world. Something like that. I'm not sure. But it was one of my brother-in-law's favorite books. So I'm going to read it. And as well as that is... Another book that goes along with it, I'm not sure that it's a series. I get it's more just another book told in the same universal sphere. It's called Judas Unchained. It's 827 pages. And um, so I want to read both of them. Peter F. Hamilton wrote both of these. Um, then we've got Michelle Michelle by Robert Lewis. Hi there. What you want? You want to give kisses? Well, that's a good boy. Yeah. A good boy. Give kisses. Yeah. Okay. Michelle Michelle by Robert Lewis. 702 pages. And it has to do with um, an orphan. World War II orphan. 
who gets adopted by a French Catholic woman and is raised in the Catholic tradition by this woman until an aunt from Israel finds out where this kid is and comes to France and says, no, I'm going to take him home and he's going to be raised a good Jew. And the woman who's been raising him as a Catholic says, in your face. I don't think they said in your face back then, but yeah, you get the picture. Um, and there ensues the battle. Uh, it was one of my mother's favorite books. It was on her shelf for years and years and years. I found a copy of it on Thrift Books. And um, I'm going to read it. And then we've got at 991 pages, Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett. And I don't think I need to give that one much introduction. I think a lot of you have already read it, or at least have heard about it. It's the building of a medieval cathedral. And the people involved, and the drama involved, and the history involved. The biggest one on my list of chunkers I want to read, what do you want? What? You want to get down? Okay, there you go. Staying there. Want to stay? Okay. Uh, as I was saying, it's the longest one on my list. 1,424 pages, and it's Sacagawea by Anna Lee Waldo, and it's about Sacagawea, the famous um, Native American princess who helped Lewis and Clark on their tours of discovery, and um, led a very eventful life. I guess it has to have been eventful for 1,400 pages. And then, taking a break with a smaller book, got 629 pages, Lucifer's Hammer by Larry Levin and Jerry Purnell. Story of a comet striking Earth and creating all kinds of havoc, um, especially ecologically, which then, of course, creates havoc with the population and so on and so forth. And 958 pages, I've got The Far Pavilions by M. M. McKay. Uh, it was made into a miniseries back in the 80s, I think it was. The book was published, I forget, it was the 70s or the 80s. But it's a thick book um, about a um, British soldier who falls in love with a Hindu princess. And they're their lives and their adventures and their things they encounter in life, I guess. And then at 1,040 pages, I've got My Name is Barbara by Barbara Streisand. I have been a Barbara Streisand fan since I was like 11 years old and I saw Funny Girl on TV and thought that was just amazing and thought this woman was just incredible. And I still, to this day, think this woman is just incredible. And I'm looking forward to reading her memoir. I would have done it already, except I was doing the Read What You Own challenge, and I didn't own the book. Um, but now I fell off that wagon. I can go, <laughs> I'm going to get it from the library and read it. Um, at 632 pages, I've got Tender Victory by Taylor Caldwell. Story of... Um, a World War II chaplain who adopts five orphan children and brings them home to his hometown in Pennsylvania. Um, two are Protestant, two are Catholic, and one is Jewish. And it's about the rampant um, bigotry that he encounters in his hometown when he does this. And how he combats it. At 1184 pages, I've got And the Ladies of the Club by Helen Hooven Santemeyer. My mother-in-law's favorite book. Never read it. 
But I thought, in honor of my mother-in-law, I would read it. Um, my mother-in-law was an absolute doll. We we got along so great. I had daughter. I miss her so much. Um, and this is a book, as far as I know, set in... I think it's in the American Midwest. And it spans like a hundred years in the lives of the women who belong to a social club. Come on. Dang, Patley came up to say hi. You gotta say hi on camera. Hello! I'm gonna be beautiful too because I'm going to the beauty parlor with the editors. Yeah. Yes, I talk in my dog's voices. You do too. Um, 1,200 pages. I'm going to read Homeland by John Jakes. It's the first of um, a duology. And um, I've liked what I've read by John Jakes in the past. And I think I'm going to enjoy this one as well. And it is immigrants in America uh, around the turn of the century. And um, how they got by and how their families grew and such and so forth. And multi-generational family drama and then finally did I skip it? this seems like it went really fast oh, 11 minutes not too bad um, at 1207 pages The Witching Hour by Anne Rice which is the story of a clan of witches and apparently it's, it's takes place somewhat in the current day, but from what I understand, it goes back into history, into Scotland, I think it is, where the, um, the, the first witch of the clan lived and did witching type things, and um, follows their genealogy up through the years. Is my understanding of how that book works. I know it's been made into a mini-series on some channel. I haven't watched it. Um, but that's it. That's 13. That went really fast. Um, one, two, three, four. I got checkmarked by all of these. Yep. Okay. So anyway, 13 books I want to read that are chunkers. And um, I mentioned in a couple of recent videos that I'm doing a shelf of Books that I want to read um, in, like, between now and the end of the year or going into 2025. And um, I've also hinted that chunkers have something to do with it, have something to do with what I'm doing in 2025. And I'm not saying what it is yet. I'm not going to do the big reveal until, like, November. Otherwise, everybody's going to forget about it between now and then. Um, but... These list of books that I'm putting out there, not counting the bookshelf tour, but the other ones I'm putting out there, are clues as to what's going to happen in 2025 on my channel. And um, who doesn't love a mystery? We'll talk to you again later. Again, folks, if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Talk to me in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It'll be great to have you on board, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.